My name is Jennifer Meckles and we're here tonight to give you a behind the scenes look at the Ronald McDonald House Charities biggest event of the year. We're doing the Big Top Ball. It's a circus theme tonight with lots of people here to raise lots of money for Ronald McDonald House. So let me show you around. <laughs> Now, this is Jennifer Miller. She's the volunteer coordinator tonight. Um, you've got a pretty big job. You want to tell me a little about what you are doing tonight with everybody? Um, well, it started months before, and part of my responsibilities are to go recruit and find people to staff our event. How many people are we talking here? How many volunteers? If they all show up on time and right, what are we thinking? Um, it's usually about 150. 50, it's a lot. Now I'm standing here with Barb. Yes, this is a wonderfully beautiful woman. You want to tell me what your job is here and why you're wearing a beard tonight? Um, I am a greeter and I'm giving out bags. And what do you mean about the beard? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. I am a bearded lady. You're bearded lady to fit in with the circus theme, correct? That's right. That's so now, right. How are you affiliated with Ronald McDonald House? Um, I'm on the board of directors. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I have volunteered at the gala. This will be my third gala. So it's a lot of fun. Sitting here with a few of the people from KOMU, we've got meteorologist Michelle Bogowitz and morning anchor Lauren Whitney. Uh, so what are you guys doing here tonight? What's your job? Actually, we are here as game show runners. We are running the bullseye, and we are also the live auction models. Um, Megan Murphy and myself have been doing it for three years, and they keep asking us back, so of course we're going to say yes. And this is your first year doing this, right? Yes, this is my first year doing it, and I am here just enjoying the festivities and the food, so I'm quite excited. I'm standing here with Barb, who just competed in the strongman contest. How did that go? I got a teddy bear. You got a teddy bear? Got I mean, a teddy bear. That's successful, yeah. right? I hit a seven, which is okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. Not bad. So now what's your connection with Ronald McDonald House? Uh, we made the bags. You made the bags. Well, they're very nice. I like them. They did a beautiful job. What do you think about the uh, the whole theme of the circus? I love it. I, I really think it's cool because you walk in and you don't know what it's. I love the lighting. I like it's kind of dark and kind of almost New Orleans style. It is. 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 Now I'm standing here with the band, the Grand Marquis, who will be performing tonight yeah. during the dinner. You want to tell me a little about what we can expect? Uh, some Louis Jordan style, Duke Ellington. Uh, gosh, we do everything. We do Sounds everything fun. from uh, Dixieland to uh, about the Duke Ellington area type music. All right, great. And so now you guys are here tonight for the Ronald McDonald House charity event. What's that mean to be a part of that? Uh, it's an honor. It's an honor to play for his, yeah, organization to support. So now, Brian, you have a personal connection with Ronald McDonald House. You were telling me one of your family members. So why don't you tell us that story? Sure. Uh, actually, uh, my niece uh, was six months old, uh, and she needed heart surgery, uh, had Down syndrome. And uh, in Kansas City, her family got to stay at the Ronald McDonald House there in Kansas City for at least two weeks. Uh, and so... Uh, you know, through that tough time, and she's 10 years old and, and a healthy girl now, uh, but I know that they really enjoyed uh, just the Ron McDonald House being there for them, and it's just a privilege for us to, to uh, give back a little bit and to, and to help other families that are going to come along here in the future. So we found a few of the entertainers tonight. Ladies, which dance production company are you guys with? Columbia Performing Arts Center. Okay, and so kind of tell me what you're doing here tonight. Obviously, you're entertainment. Yeah. So tell me what I can expect. We are doing a tap trio that we are going to do for competitions this year. Good luck to you guys tonight. We look forward to watching. And 
our next brilliant band for this evening, here to perform their own brand of jump and blues and hot swing and jazz from Kansas City. Please welcome Grand Marquis. Enjoy your dinner. How are y'all doing out here in Columbia? Oh man, what a great event at the Big Top Ball. Well, uh, we are glad to be here tonight and we're going to start it off swinging with a good old good one here for you. This one's called Dinah. Make sure you hold up your panel and your numbers. And if you're the winner, make sure you keep them held high so we can make sure we record them. Party of 20, 500. Maybe to 5, 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 the, the items are just uh, a, a side benefit, you know, we'd give the money anyway. Now we're here with Shannon after the big event was over, and you played pretty much the biggest hand in planning this with your um, other co-planner. Who was that again? Carissa Havens. Yes. Okay. Now and there's a whole team of people. Team. There's, yeah, we have a whole committee, and we have a board, and just everybody comes out to support and help um, plan this event. So now, how, how do you think it went? Now that it's over, you can finally breathe again? <laughs> I think it went wonderful. We had um, 440 people attend, okay. so it, I thought it was great. I mean, it was what we were hoping for. We sold out. So we, we sold out of tickets, and um, everyone showed up. We had every seat in the house pretty much full. All right, it looks like things are wrapping up here at the Big Top Ball. Ronald McDonald House Charities was very successful in raising lots of money this year, and on top of that, everybody had a wonderful time. We hope to see you back here next year.